Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 24th of 2021. Well, it is titled Aurora and lightning on Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of Jupiter off to the left hand side. And we're looking towards the polar region. And you can see that labeled there with the uh, lines of latitude going through it. And you can see them going down to 40 way off in the distance and then up towards 90 degrees where everything converges at the pole. Now the poles are where Aurora are the strongest and we can see the auroral ring here, the ring of material where Jupiter's magnetic field crosses into its atmosphere. And that is centered around Jupiter's north magnetic pole. Now you note that the magnetic pole is not at the same location as the uh, rotational pole. So the rotational axis, its pole is a little bit off to the side here. And the, the magnetic poles and the rotational poles do not have to be aligned. They are not aligned on Earth either with our magnetic pole being in northern Canada and not at the North Pole itself. So when the particles from the sun follow those magnetic field lines, that's where they strike the atmosphere and excite those atoms and cause them to glow. So any planet that has a magnetic field and an atmosphere such as Earth and Jupiter will have an aurora associated with it that will occur from time to time. Now the other thing that we're looking at is the lightning storm. So on the inset there we're looking at some of the lightning on Jupiter. Now Jup lightning on Jupiter is different than lightning on Earth. It does occur but on Earth it tends to be uh, more concentrated toward equatorial regions and probably has something to do with the atmosphere of Earth and the storms that are forming within it which will tend to form in equatorial regions first. Whereas on Jupiter perhaps Perhaps it is due to something left over a heating left over from its formation and causes the lightning to form in different spots. So we do see a lot of it. And this is one of the things that the Juno spacecraft has been studying. And this image taken nearly three years ago is one of the ones that is used to be able to study and try to understand this process of what is going on on Jupiter and how the the uh, lightning is working what is going on with the lightning there. So that was our picture of the day for March the 24th of 2021. It was titled Aurora and lightning on Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.